Good morning. So right now it's 10 o'clock. I'm eating my eggs, drinking my coffee. Pre-workout this early in the morning, I'm probably gonna take a little shot of L-carnitine. It's like a natural fat burner and it's supposed to help suppress your appetite, but it never really does me. But anyway, I'm gonna take that and then I'm gonna go work out with my friend Katie. We're gonna do arms and abs and then I may or may not do cardio. So, while I'm sitting here drinking my coffee, I'm gonna explain real quick how my eight week challenge went and how I did on the keto diet. Um, and I'm still on the diet, but I lost a total of six pounds. I didn't lose 10, but I lost six. Um, and then after the holidays, like after Christmas this past week, probably gained it all back, not gonna lie. And I haven't been communicating with my coach very well, so he doesn't know that yet. But he will. Um, yeah. Uh, I really am not sure if the keto diet is working for me just because I love carbs and when you're told you can't have carbs it kind of makes you want to cheat and I did it's a little disappointing but it's fine like life goes on it's not the end of the world I'm probably not gonna be the winner of that challenge but that's okay uh, it was a good Thing to help keep me on track and it did but I didn't give it my best I'll just be honest I did not but it's okay and what I'm really hoping to do is get back on track through January and then February start prep for June or yeah for June that's what my goal is I'll have to see what my coach says but hopefully he'll be on board But regardless, I will try to make videos and keep you guys posted. And if I do start a prep, that will definitely give me motivation to keep making videos. And they'll be a lot better because if I do, I'm not going to just like halfway do it. I really want to give it my all. Um, I know I said the same thing with this challenge and I didn't. But the thing is, is I didn't really have an end goal with this. And if I know that I'm going to have to step on stage at a certain date, then I'm going to work my butt off to get there because if, if I don't, then one, I'm not going to get to compete and two, if I do decide to compete and I don't leave my best, I'm going to look fat on stage next to a bunch of good looking girls. So we definitely don't want that. So that's like good motivation to keep me going and keep me pushing and stick to the diet. Um, and this was just like, the only thing I got out of it was free stuff. But I would rather have the goal of competing and I'm going to do it with a friend so that's going to make it a little bit easier. She's competed before so hopefully she'll be able to keep me on track and I'll have someone that I can talk to about it. She's really knowledgeable and I really like her so it's going to help me out a lot especially for my first competition it's gonna be awesome to have someone to do it with but that's the update on that and I will show you guys a physique update if I haven't already I don't know the order I'm gonna put this video in but um this update was after Christmas so I'm not looking my best um, I am a little bit bloated and fluffy so to me, I don't like it. But the one thing that I have noticed is my legs and butt have definitely shaped up. And I'm starting to lean out in my arms. But the places where I really want to like lean out is in my core and right under my butt area. Like my legs just need to lean out a little bit more. So that's what I'm going to be working on. But I think that this challenge was good for me. It definitely helped me out through the holidays, but as for the whole eight week challenge in general, I did not crush it. 
but it's a learning experience. So I'll try to keep you guys updated on what's going on, but as for now, we're gonna go work out. So see you then.
we're gonna go get some groceries at Walmart. <laughs> it's gonna be cold. Look at that jacket. Oh yeah. grocery haul and this is what I'll be eating for the next week to two weeks depending on how long it lasts me so we've got eggs and egg whites for breakfast spinach and shredded lettuce for my salads dills because that makes my chicken taste amazing Genio turkey bacon 10 pounds of boneless chicken breast two things of ground turkey and that is it. For my ground turkey, I put a taco seasoning in it and I'll probably have green beans with that for dinner. And I still have a little bit of almonds left, so I'll eat those and beef jerky throughout the day if I get hungry. And since I finished my workout about an hour ago, um, I'm gonna have a protein shake. And then I'll probably have a turkey patty and green beans for lunch since I already have that and I don't feel like cooking anything and then I'm gonna go out to eat later tonight so that is a grocery haul and I don't know what else I'll be putting in the video but if nothing else I'll probably conclude it here I know I suck at concluding my videos but I'll work on it so if you don't see me again this is where I'll end it but if not I'll put in whatever else so thank you guys for watching and I'll talk to you later. Look at that! Oh my gosh. <laughs> 